Vice President Kashim Shetima has reiterated the federal government's commitment to tackling human capital development challenges in Nigeria, particularly improving life expectancy. He made this statement at the launch of the Nasarawa State Human Capital Development Strategy Document Accelerating Growth and Development and the Nasarawa State Gender Transformative Human Capital Development Policy Framework held in Lafia, the state capital. ADBN Nasarawa State Correspondent Mary Ojiji reports. During the event, Vice President Shatima, who also serves as the National Chairman of the Human Capital Development Agency, reaffirmed the federal government's support for states in implementing initiatives to address the current economic challenges in the country. He commended Nasarawa State for its dedication to the Human Capital Development Program, stressing that it is not just an aspiration but a commitment backed by concrete actions. We aim to make human capital development the cornerstone of a more prosperous and competitive Nigeria. Today's launch of a strategic document and policy framework is evidence of Nasarawa State's leadership and vision under His Excellency Engineer Abdullahi Esule, the Executive Governor of Nasarawa State. This forward thinking approach we have already moved beyond the pace pace of the head city, adapting our strategies to current realities and shifting from theory to implementation. Nasarawa State's entry at this pivotal stage is a promising sign of progress. In his remarks, Nasarawa State Governor Engineer Abdullahi Suley describes the documents as not only a vision for the state's future, but a demonstration of its commitment to achieving sustainable and measurable results. He emphasized that the initiative was born out of government's belief in creating systems that genuinely serve the people. Let me state that Nasarawa State Human Capital Development Strategy Document Accelerating Growth and Development 2024 to 2030 is an actionable roadmap that will further guide our in interventions in education, healthcare, infrastructure, and economic empowerment. The document integrates advanced planning tools and performance metrics to ensure that each initiative is data driven and result oriented. Similarly, Nasarawa State Gender Transformative Human Capital Development Framework is equally critical in the state's progress. This is because gender equity is a cornerstone of sustainable development. Director General and Focal Person of the Nasarawa State Human Capital Development Agency, Habiba Balarabi Suleiman, expressed a gratitude to the Vice President for selecting Nasarawa as the first state to launch the Human Capital Development Agenda. She highlighted the positive impacts these initiatives will have on the state's economy and women's empowerment. As we launch these documents, we do so with the recognition that it is far more than a mere compilation of policies, initiatives and programs. It is, in essence, a strategic blueprint for transformation, a roadmap that will guide our efforts in addressing the core challenges that have historically impeded our development and the full realization of our state's potential. The Nasarawa State Human Capital Development Strategy documents aim to enhance the welfare and livelihoods of residents across the state's 13 local government areas and boost Nasarawa's social economic standing. Mary Ujiji, ADBN News.